Have you ever liked someone but weren't sure that they liked you back that way? Recognizing that someone may want you sexually can be challenging since sex can be considered a sensitive subject that requires both parties to be vulnerable. Admitting that you feel sexually attracted to someone may be embarrassing and hard to process. You might have a crush and feel a strong desire to be closer to them and initiate intimacy, but initiating intimacy with your crush can be nerve wracking, especially when you worry they might not feel the same. To help, here are six signs to tell you if your crush wants you sexually. Eye contact. Have you ever caught your crush staring at you or keeping more consistent eye contact? Assistant Professor of Communication at Tilburg University, Emlyn A.J. Crows, describes eye contact as one of the most important nonverbal cues to communicate affection and attraction. Eye contact has frequently been recognized as a way to establish trust and intimacy between peers and partners. If you've noticed your crush making more eye contact, they're likely trying to make you feel more comfortable and show affection towards you. You may notice your crush's eyes dilate when they look at you. A rush of oxytocin and dopamine often causes this dilation, otherwise known as the love hormones. So if their pupils dilate, it's a safe bet that they're happy to see you. Time alone. Does your crush suggest you spend more time alone together? Do you find yourself comfortable when alone with them? If so, your crush may want to establish privacy and enjoy some quality time with you. In his book, The Five Love Languages, Author and counselor Gary Chapman describes quality time as something that offers someone your full, undivided attention. Wanting to spend time alone with your crush establishes trust and a sense of security. Plus, they probably just enjoy your company. Physical contact. Does your crush casually brush against you or hold your hand often? Are they visibly comfortable around you? Body language is an excellent way to tell if someone wants you sexually. They may do it unconsciously, but a simple touch can say a lot. For example, you might feel an enjoyable jolt of electricity when touched by your crush. This is typically a sign of hypersensitivity you've developed that is geared toward them. This hypersensitivity is often attributed to the release of oxytocin, also known as the cuddle hormone. In her book, The Chemistry of Connection, journalist Susan Kuczynskas explores the magic of oxytocin like direct eye contact, physical contact, or touch can encourage the brain to produce oxytocin when we're physically or emotionally intimate with someone. This rush of oxytocin is often responsible for that special spark between you and your crush. Nervousness. Does your crush become more visibly nervous when you're alone together? Do they frequently blush? Fidgeting and blushing are natural responses to experiencing any intense attraction. According to clinical psychologist, Mary C. Lamia, blushing can happen in an exciting situation as well, such as in the self-consciousness of being physically attracted to another person. Yes, blushing can result from any emotion, including stress, embarrassment, and anger, but if your crush frequently blushes and shows similar signs to the ones mentioned in this video, it's very possible they're excited just by being around you. Tone of voice. Does your crush's voice change when they speak to you? Psychologist Dr. Scott B. suggests that men talk in low-pitched voices to appear more sensual to someone they find attractive. A low pitch is also common amongst women that find themselves attracted to someone. Similar to why our crushes maintain eye contact, it has been suggested that low tone of voice will put someone at ease and establish a sense of trust and safety. Let's talk about sex. Has your crush explicitly asked if you want to engage in sex? More than likely, if your crush wants to initiate sex or become more intimate, they will be direct and tell you. After all, it is vital in any relationship that both parties provide consent when sex is involved. It may take a lot of courage to come forward with their sexual desires, so take the time to listen to what they have to say. Even renowned sex and empowerment therapist, Carly Blau says, sexual preferences should be easy to talk about because they ultimately lead to your pleasure, but they're often difficult to discuss because we fear judgment. Being open with your sexual desires may be embarrassing at times, but it will further strengthen the trust you share. Does your crush display most of these signs? If so, it's possible they're sexually attracted to you. If you return their feelings, it may be time to sit down with your crush and discuss what you're both comfortable with on an intimate level. You may want different things, so it's important to sit down, talk it through, and respect the other's decisions. Doing so will establish more trust and strengthen your bond as a couple. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it with whoever you think will benefit from this information. 
If you're still unsure if your crush wants you, check out our video, Five Clear Signs Someone Likes You A Lot. For more tips on recognizing when your crush reciprocates your feelings, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to stay tuned for more new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching. And don't forget, you matter.